Hey guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing a review on Lush wigs. So if you've watched my channel before, you know that I have ordered from Lush before and I genuinely like their wigs. They're not too expensive and they're pretty good quality. So I was really excited to order from them again. They come in a standard bag, just like this for you to keep your wigs in. They sent out a wig cap and they sent out their wigs in this kind of netting. So just taking it out of the netting, the wig looks like this. It is this really long, beautiful wig. I ordered it um, in just solid white. Oh my God, it's so staticky. I ordered it in solid white because for special effects videos, you could always use a white wig. So this wig is really gorgeous and it comes with your tags. Don't want it. Let's get that off. So this is just a standard wig from Lush. They have their wig cap on the inside with their three clips, or two clips, three clips. So there's two on each side. So one right here, one right here, and one right here. And then it comes with their strap, similar to like a bra strap, so you can tighten it or loosen it to the size of your head. So I haven't even taken the lace off this wig yet. So it is a lace front wig. It comes with the lace all around the front, so you will need to take some scissors and just cut around the lace. So I'm gonna go do that quickly and then I will throw it on and I will give you guys my opinion on it. So once you cut your lace off, you're gonna have a piece of lace that looks something like this and you can just throw it out. It's not useful anymore. So what you're going to need to first put on a wig if you have long hair is you're going to need a wig cap. I personally like to use beige wig caps if the cup, cup, if the lace that is underneath it, the wig cap, is a beige color. I like to use a beige one. If it's black, then I would use a black one. So I'm going to use my own wig cap and I'm just gonna throw my hair underneath it. So once you have your lace cut off of your wig, it should look something like this. It's just a standard wig and I am going to throw it on. So I'm going to find the clips underneath it and fasten them underneath my wig cap. The third one should be right about here, but I don't really worry about that one when it when they send wigs that have it on the front. I don't like it on the front. I would prefer it on the back, but that's okay. So this is a really long, straight wig. Um, I, can't, I don't remember how much this retails for, so I will have to list it right here for you guys. Um, I do believe that it was on sale, and that is why I purchased it, but it's just a standard white wig. It would be really, really great for cosplays or for special effects. Um, this wig is shedding already. So with wigs that shed, you need to get a knot setter to put on the bottom of the wig. So what you would do is here, let me show you on this wig right here. So on the lace on the bottom here, you're going to want to where all of the hair is sticking through you're going to want to get some knot setter and it's basically a glue that you put on top of like where your hair is sewn into the lace. And it basically just makes it so that it stays in to the wig cap, the weft a little bit stronger and doesn't fall out. Cause once a wig, hair falls out of a wig, it's not gonna grow back obviously. So your wig is basically ruined. So that is the one thing that I will have to say about Lush wigs is they do shed quite badly. Um, I wish they didn't because the quality of them is usually pretty great, but they do shed a lot and that's kind of annoying. Um, this wig is really staticky and it's already starting to tangle, so that's kind of frustrating, but maybe I'll just have to get some tangling or frizz spray or whatever just to dose it on this wig just because it seems to be very, very staticky right now. But as for the color, it is exactly what I wanted. It is this beautiful white color. It's a very long wig. It goes down to about here. Um, it would probably be a little bit longer if it wasn't starting to get tangled, but it is a little bit at the ends, which isn't really a big deal. I just will have to brush it out. Um, so because it is a lace front wig, you can move the hair around and you can figure out where you want your part to be. If you want a side part or if you want it straight down the middle, it doesn't really matter. I haven't done anything with this wig yet. As you guys saw, I just cut off the lace and I will have to play with it a little bit just to get the correct 
style that I want for the wig. Um, but if you guys are lazy and you guys aren't interested in styling a wig and you don't really care where the part is, you can just throw a hat on, boom, you got white hair. <laughs> um, so this wig is really nice. I think the quality of the hair is really great. I just wish it was a little bit less staticky and not tangling so much, but whatever. I will just have to just brush it out, no big deal. It's probably because it was in that bag for like a week. <laughs> so I ordered it a couple weeks ago and it arrived last week sometime and that was the first time of me taking it out of the bag. I hadn't even tried it on or felt the hair yet, but I have ordered Lush wigs before and I know that I like them, so that's why I wasn't really concerned. I definitely wanted this for the Halloween season, so I'm excited that it got here so I can start doing looks with it, but I'm just gonna have to brush it out and get, get rid of this static because it's really bothering me. But it is exactly what I wanted. It looks exactly like it did on the website and I'm really excited about that. I think Lush wigs are definitely worth the price. They range about the $60 to $70 range. Some of them are a little bit more expensive and some of them are more cheaper. If you're looking for a cheaper wig, you can definitely shop their sales because they usually do have a sale going on. I believe I got this one on sale. I don't remember what I got it on sale for though, but they do have sales around the Halloween season and they do have sales just going randomly all the time like most wig stores do. So if you are interested in trying Lush's wigs, Lush wigs, I definitely recommend them. They're on Instagram and I will link them down below in their description for you guys so you guys can check out their wigs. I think they're absolutely beautiful and they're so much fun to wear. I don't find them to be super itchy and I find that the clips are pretty comfortable in my hair. I don't really find them to be annoying. Some wigs are really, really itchy and the clips hurt. Whereas this one, this is a pretty good um, size wig cap so it doesn't really hurt me at all. I have no issues wearing Lush wigs for extended periods of time. They really don't bother me. I think they are great. So. That's all I really have to say. There's nothing bad I can say about this company. I think they're an awesome brand and they're a really great wig company for about a medium priced wig. You can get, definitely you can shop higher quality wigs like Webster Wigs or Powder Room D which are, are about $150 whereas Lush Wigs sit at around $60 to $70 and then there is like Star Style Wigs which is about $90 and then Eva which is about $90. So like, in and around the 60 to 90 range is usually where I sit, but sometimes I buy a little bit higher quality wigs and I don't mind paying a little extra, but I really like Lush wigs for the quality and the price. They're really great, they're not too expensive, and they're pretty good quality, minus the shedding. So if Lush decides to watch my video, maybe take into account that your customers don't like the fact that your wigs shed a lot. Maybe you guys could fix that, but if not, whatever, I'll just have to get a box setter and add that. That's what I do with all of my Amazon wigs. My Charisma wigs shed like crazy, so I use the knot setter and it usually helps. But that's all I have to say about this wig. I think it's really pretty, it's really long, it would be really great for a costume, and it's definitely just cool to wear in general if you wanted white hair for a day. So I highly recommend them. If you guys are new to my channel and not yet subscribed, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this. If you guys did enjoy my video, please make sure to give it a like. And yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys at my next one. Bye. I'm feeling so hollow. Don't you know? Don't you know? I'm living in shadow. Don't you know? Don't you know? I fell for fools, gold. I fell for fools.